What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg back again with another versus video. This time we're looking at the display quality of the new MacBook Pro versus the MacBook Air. Now when Apple launched the MacBook Air, there was a lot of fanfare when they announced that the screen of the 11 inch MacBook Air had a higher pixel count than the 13 inch MacBook Pro. And that the 13 inch MacBook Air had a higher pixel count than the 15 inch MacBook Pro, at least the one without the higher res screen option. In fact, if we look at the screen specs, indeed the 11 inch MacBook Air has the highest pixel density of all Macs. At a resolution of 1366 by 768 over 11.6 inches, this bests the 1280 by 800 of the 13.3 inch MacBook Pro. If we do our math, this means that the 11 inch Air has 135 pixels per square inch versus the 113 for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now if we compare both 13 inch Pros and Airs, the difference is similarly significant with the 13 inch Air equaling 128 pixels and the 13 inch Pro at 113 pixels. Now clearly the 13 inch MacBook Air has the best resolution and arguably the better display. Now the question I get often is if the 11 inch MacBook Air has the highest pixel density, does this also mean it looks better than the 13 inch MacBook Pro? Now looking at the 11 inch display very closely, indeed you can see that inch for inch the resolution is substantially clearer. Every icon and bit of text has better definition and generally looks more vibrant. But of course the MacBook Air is also a much smaller screen with less real estate and the higher resolution is key to making the tiny screen usable. And because the 13 inch MacBook Pro screen is much larger, you're less inclined to lean in closely to notice the pixels in the first place. Reviewers have also claimed that the MacBook Pro screens have superior color gamut, but I'm unable to make those observations in real world conditions, so they're not a big concern for me in this instance. Viewing angles and brightness seem to be identical, neither the display seems superior to the other in this regard. Overall, I do have to say I'm a little disappointed with the MacBook Pro display. It does not match the MacBook Air's clarity, and it was the first thing I noticed when I booted it up for the first time. The MacBook Air has sort of spoiled my expectations, and I really wish Apple had used the 13-inch display from the MacBook Air to bring it up to parity. But beyond resolution, the LED backlit display seemed to be about the same, and in the end, using a 13-inch display is still less straining on the eyes than an 11-inch display. So if all things being equal, I can assume the 13-inch MacBook Air is going to combine the best of both worlds, so both screen real estate and resolution for the superior experience. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at the MacBook displays. Thanks for watching.